because just yesterday I was giving a talk in a mosque and there's a bunch of teenagers, right? And there was problems about this and that and then outside the mosque there's also this thing about where you give in your knife, knife crime, things to do with drinking, things to do with this, things to do with relationships, things to do... And I was thinking to myself, where's the youth of Islam? When you think of youth, what do you think of? This problem, drinking problem, stabbing problem, this problem, this doubt, that problem, yeah? Yet it was the youth of Islam which took on Abu Jahl. It was the youth of Islam, like Muhammad Fateh, Sultan Muhammad Fateh, who conquered Constantinople. It was the youth of Islam who stood with the Prophet It was the youth of Islam who we remember every Friday. Who is that? The people of the cave. I was thinking, what the hell is wrong with our youth? They're supposed to be the foundation, right? And at the moment, they're just coming to us with problems. And the thing is, the reason why we as Muslims have the problems that we do is because we've forgotten the mission of the Prophet ﷺ. At the end of the day, yeah, raise your hand if you want an intercession of the Prophet ﷺ on the Day of Judgment. Okay, ask yourself a question and we can end up on this. How can you dare expect intercession of the Prophet ﷺ when your mission in life is not his mission. His mission was Islam's going to spread as far as the day and the night. You take an average Muslim, what's their mission? Let me get a house and mortgage. I don't care whether it's halal or haram. Let me put my child through university. Let me make sure that I have a good status and a good car. That's their mission. When the mission of the Prophet ﷺ was the advancement of Islam to connect lost, the lost uh, Bani Adam to their creator. So if you want the intercession of the Prophet make sure your mission in life is his mission.